partnership operations involves distribution of income or losses to partners. So let's answer these problems. Partners, Tong Tong Noi Noi and Montoy's share profits 20 40 40 under the Crudes partnership. Result of the operation for the period is 3,750,000. So our requirement is how are we going to divide this profit for the year? So the, the partnership has the following agreements when dividing their profits and losses. So the best way to answer uh, distribution of partnership is to have your schedule ready. So we have the rules partnership income distribution schedule so let's say this is for December 31 2020 so we have particulars or description Particulars. Then you have partners. Tong Tong. Tong Tong is getting twenty percent of the profit. Twenty percent. Then we have Noi Noi, which is getting forty percent of the income, and we have Untoy which is also 40%, then provide uh, columns for total. So we have particulars, total, noi, ontoy. Then, we follow the agreement. Agreement 1, total is to receive an annual salary of 120. So, item number 1, salaries. In this case, only total is to receive an annual salary of 120,000. So we give the first 120,000 to Tonto. So here, nan, Tonto nan. So total 120,000. Next, average capital balances are to be given 10% interest. So we will be providing interest. So remember, this interest is not partnerships expense. It is only an income distribution device. So interest, which is 10% of their capital balances for total 1750. So 10% is 175,000. For Noi Noi, 360, 10%, 365,000. 4 million for Noi. So, 4 million times 10% is 400,000. So, 175 plus 365 plus 400,000, that's 940,000 in total. So, we've given the annual salary and interest on average capital. Next provision is Tung Tung also received bonus, which is equivalent to 15% of net income after salaries and interest. So our income is 3750. So you have here net income of 3750. So this is just a separate computation. 3750. Then after salaries and interest. So minus. 120,000 after interest minus 940,000. So 3750 income less 120 less 940, you will get 2690. So this is your net income after salaries and interest. Total is to receive 15% of that as bonus. So, 2,690 times 15% is 403,500. 
this times 15 percent so you will get 48 let me clear that right here so 2690 times 15 percent the bonus rate you will get 403 500 so we will give a bonus total of 403-500 Remember our discussion with um, about kinds of partners? So normally, the managing partner receives bonus. Okay, so for a day credit, none for a day, none for a day, 403-500 So we've given one, uh, annual salaries, two, interest, three, bonus, then the balance is to be divided based on their profit sharing ratio. So we have here the balance. So we will have our total. Income distribution schedule for December 31, 2020. So this shows how are we going to divide the 3750 for that period. So that means our total here should be. 3,750,000 So we're looking for what is the balance So 3,750 minus 109 minus 120,000 minus 940,000 minus 403,500 and you will get 2,236,500 So that's the balance Based on their agreement, number four, balance is to be divided based on their profit sharing ratio, which is 20, 40, 40. 20, 40, 40. For total, may may be good toy. So, 2,286,500 times 20%, that will give you 457,300. Again, 40% of the balance, so 40% times 2,286,500, that will give you 940,600. So, the same ratio to that means here is also 940,600. 40%, 40%. So, that means for the year 2020, this is what we to Total will get 120 plus 175 plus 403500 plus 457300. Total will get 1,155,800. So that's for total. Then we have 365 plus 600. You will get. No, you will get 1,279,600. While Konto you will get this plus this is 1,314,600. So that's how we divide uh, income to partners based on their agreement. And that's this is how we prepare an income distribution schedule. Thank you.